Hi everyone, this is uh, my bike. I've been riding it for over a year now, so <laughs> maybe it's time to do a review. Everything's been holding up and I'm not dead, so obviously uh, I did something right and the kit's been working really well. Um, so I got this bike at Costco, Nemesis, Infinity, don't really uh, don't really know if that's a popular brand name because I've never heard of it before, but surprisingly it's actually holding up quite well. Uh, so I have a 1000 watt uh, golden motor rear hub, and uh, along with the external controller. So I have somewhat of a torque arm there, I've gone through so many different uh, solutions for torque arms, it was actually really hard to fit anything short of uh, custom CNC machined. Um, type of torque arm so I just I don't know this has been holding up for a year now I drive a full throttle and rough starts and everything all sorts of all uh, terrain as you can see it's still really muddy because I do a bunch of off-roading as well battery rack is uh, over here it's uh, actually been holding up really well the one thing is the the kit didn't really have a bolt for this so um, I just kind of used a couple washers and a nut to keep that really tight and uh, only once have I hit a bump hard enough that it, that actually caused the rack to go down a bit, but I haven't had any trouble since I retightened it. And before I used to, uh, before I tightened up my suspension over here, I hit this and it kind of popped up. <laughs> um, so yeah, everything's been really solid here. Um, I keep the controller in a bag up at the front, so I have the controller over here and then the extra cables and stuff on the other side. And I used to use the thumb throttle, um, but now I switched over to the twist throttle because, well, I switched it over during the winter time. It's easier to use with gloves, and I just haven't bothered switching it back to the thumb throttle again. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing too special. So, just put the, uh, I think this came with a 7 speed gear cluster at the back. How many is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so it was a 7 before and I got the 6 from Golden Motor just to make it fit. Uh, the wheel is slightly not centered. I just used a couple extra washers on the left here to push the wheel more to the right, uh, which made a bit of a hassle to install the brakes, the V-brakes on the back, but what I ended up doing is I have the original uh, brake pad on here. It's the long one. And then on the other side, I got from Canadian Tire uh, a shorter brake, um, so that works. They do wear down quite fast though, so usually I have to tighten it up once in a while. Um, yeah, so key start, just flick that on. I have the cable plugged in here, so it's nice when I slide the battery off the rack, I just have my cable holding itself onto here and under the seat, so when it rains, uh, nothing gets in there. And another thing, like even with this bag, it's not waterproof, but it actually... I've been using this in the rain. I've left it out in the rain and came back and ran it, and uh, it has absolutely no trouble, so I'm quite surprised. Um, spokes have never even had to be tightened up or anything. Uh, <laughs> how are we going to do this? Okay, I'll hold the camera here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, twist throttle's got the lights on there, although uh, from what I've read and experienced, uh, the lithium ion battery isn't made to be compatible, or more like the throttle isn't made to be compatible with lithium ion batteries because they discharge at a different rate, so the lights will go down to red almost instantaneously, not instantaneously, but within minutes of riding instead of over time. But there is a fix on the Golden Motor forum that explains how to make it work better with lithium ions using a uh, variable resistor. Then I have some mounts for my flashlight, which to the flashlight I also attached a $8 keychain camera I got off eBay, just uh, search 808 keychain camera, and I just taped it onto the flashlight and then easily slide on, slide off, and you know, record stuff in case anybody hits you. Uh, this is for my uh, Garmin Etrex Legend GPS mount. I haven't really bothered connecting my speedometer, so I just use the GPS, and um, that's the cruise control button, so it, uh, it doesn't control speed, it just controls the uh, setting that you put the throttle at, so if you hold the throttle at half and press the red button, when you let go of the throttle, it'll keep going as if you had half throttle, so meaning if I start going up a hill, 
it's not going to give it more power to keep the speed of the bike. It'll just keep the same throttle setting. And uh, this is my reverse switch, so if I press that, the bike will now go backwards. And then if I press it the other way, it goes forwards. Whoa. <laughs> Um, actually, it's pretty light. I'd estimate the entire thing weighing just over 50 pounds or so, so pretty light. And, uh, oh yeah, horn. So I have the little speaker in there as well for air codes and whatnot. I don't really beep it. If anybody knows of a way to make that sound a bit more manly, let me know, because I don't really like honking it, so I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, keep my chain in there. You want to get a, yourself a good chain so that nobody steals your nice e-bike. And, um, yeah, this was like 40 bucks at a bike shop that I got. The guy said you need a hydraulic cutter to get through it, so it's good enough for me. And yeah, if you have any questions, just uh, let me know. I can send you some pictures or whatnot or instructions on if you need help or whatnot. So, cool. See ya.